Hi there everyone, welcome to another Aura's Wi-Fi battle. This is from a tournament I entered on Reddit, on the, what's it called? The Pokemon Reddit League subreddit. They posted saying they wanted to do a Gen 2 tournament. I noticed I had some decent Gen 2 Pokemon and I figured, why not? Yeah, let's do it. So here's my team as you see, and there is my opponent. My first, uh, my first opponent in this little, very uh, small tournament. There are only uh, four battles in it for me. Well, there. Well, there's only a branch of four anyway. Yeah, not many people entered, and a few people dropped out, but it's all good. So, he leads off with his lonely girl, who no doubt wants to get up the uh, the hazards. However, since I saw he had an Espeon, I assumed he would switch straight into it. So I decided to go for the Megahorn. Unfortunately, he's holding the Rocky Helmet, which breaks my Focus Sash, which allows him to outspeed and go for a Brave Bird taking out. Very sad, but um, no Sticky Web now. Down goes Area Dross, but at least that thing got decent recoil damage off on itself. Here I switch into Candela, and I figure it's a good idea to get rid of the... Um, Rocky helmet on him if I can help it. But he sends out, yeah. Mm, bit of a worry. My strongest attack is Earthquake. I notice this does a decent amount of damage. And I decide to get rid of those uh, Stealth Rock now while I have a chance. Nothing this thing will be able to, be able to do will kill me, so he turns out he's physical and he goes for Ice Punch. Here I go for Earthquake. And it does a very good amount of damage. A surprising amount, in fact. I guess he was specially defensive. Out comes uh, the Typhlosion. I figure I should be able to take an eruption. I do have an Assault Vest. And I do. And I'm able to get the Earthquake off. So down goes Typhlosion. And uh, that's the end of that. <laughs> Out comes Hitmontop. Bit of a worry, especially if it's got Intimidate. Turns out it doesn't. I can't remember what Hitmontop's other abilities are. I think it's got Steadfast and Technician, that's right. Here I switch into Meganium, thinking Hitmontop isn't really that powerful. And my Meganium is very bulky. He, su he switches straight out and brings in his Kitty. Perhaps predicting me to go for a Leech Seed here. But uh, this is a Dual Screens Meganium with Leech Seed, and um, Giga Drain. I'm able to get the Reflect up, and I decide to go for the Light Screen as well. I'm holding Light Clay as well, so these things will be sticking around for quite some time. I now feel confident I can switch into something and not take too much damage from this little Espeon. Switch into for Alligator, who takes very little damage from that Dazzling Gleam. But it turns out the thing has Grass Knot, which, looking at that damage, would have been a major problem without the um, light screen. I'm able to get a Dragon Dance off though, and I now outspeed, and with sheer force, I am very, very powerful. I go for my strongest attack, so assuming this thing isn't holding a Focus Sash, everything is cool. And we see it is cool. Down goes the Shiny Espeon, and out comes the Shiny Hitmontop. I have a feeling that this team of his might have been genned in. But the fake out flinches me, and I'm able to get the waterfall off. He annoyingly goes for a bulldoze here, bringing my speed back down. Only 9 HP. I know these things usually have priority. I was expecting Mach Punch, but a resisted uh, non stab bullet punch. With Reflect Up, I am able to live with 1 HP and take it out with a Waterfall. My Reflect wears off here. I figure I should still outspeed the Lonely Girl, and I decide to go for my strongest attack, Waterfall. I don't expect it to kill, but it actually does. Of course I die to the Rocky Helmet damage myself. For Alligator did well here though. Pretty much took out most of his team. Unfortunately, my screens were off here, so I decide to send out Entei. 
And his last Pokemon is um, Sneasel. I guess it's holding you Violite. I mean... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it probably is holding you Violite. And I go for Sacred Fire. If this doesn't kill, it should burn. But it, it is a one-hit KO. Down goes Sneasel, and that got me through my first round in the Gen 2 tournament. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.